hello welcome to another video today i'm super happy because i'm doing a hip-hop review hit mail by bobby is bobby just dropped hit mail part two wow you know i remember back in the day when the first hit mail dropped we could all vibe vibe when i heard something like Song, whenever it hit the speakers, people just go mad. That's my big brother. It is a shame, nothing in life lasts forever. Why did I leave and laugh on the explanation? I got too much respect to put a dead in linen. So it's cool. I play the villain. Put the blame on me and all these other ghetto children. We never graduated, we wrong pass and not have books. Yeah, they walk. And so for those of you who don't know the history of hate mail and why we the hip hop fans are super excited about it it happened in a way that uh, Bobby East uh, actually blew up from the CB at Ben Blazer Studios and so most people felt when he had a fall fallout with Ben Blazer they, they felt uh, he was going to join the Copala Swan back in the CB and fortunately he came back to Lusaka and um, joined the XYZ and so a lot of fans didn't take it lightly. They took shots at him and uh, he decided to take those negative comments in boxes that he received. He put them in the song and called it hate mail. In the time it dropped, oh man, it was, it was fire. Like everyone was just vibing to hate mail. It was hate mail, hate mail, hate mail, hate mail. And many say it's one of the best hip hop songs to ever come out in the music industry in Zambia. Talking about part one, hate mail. So now, nine years later, he goes on to do Hate Mail 2. A song that we waited. He announced on his Facebook page <clears throat> that he was going to put it out at 12 o'clock Friday. And a lot of us were waiting, waited, waited, and never came up, out until somewhere around 7 o'clock in the evening. That's when it came out. And so, anyway, the wait was, the, the wait was worth it. The way it was was worth it so without wasting much time today i want to compare the two songs head me one versus head me two which one do you think is the best comment section now this is hip-hop in hip-hop hip-hop we analyze so if it was a yo map song and then i was doing this people would hit me you know they would say no why are you comparing why are you doing this and that but in hip-hop it is allowed because hip hop is all about analyzing the lyrics, the instrumentation, everything, the delivery. So it's hip hop. So I'm going to compare Hit Me One versus Hit Me Two. Obviously, it's my opinion. We all have our opinions. So that's why there's a comment section. Feel free to give your comments. Just be uh, respectful. Okay. Thank you. So let's start with Hit Me Two because Hit Me One, I believe everyone has heard it. So we are listening, uh, I'm going to listen to Hit Me or 2 and just see what I can get out of it. Yo, big up to Mr. Stash, run the beat. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Jump on the rhythm, run the tune. The what? Africa. <laughs> Gonna take some time. This one is. Dear Bobby at Hau, I hope you remush. Need a gun and gunny, please defend the lamu doze. No homo, ni maku gani zapo. Was even gwe muzanga ni kutala na kambapo. Ni kari muhu du monga bigi mosi. Ni na vela wuna kuka wate bigi lost. Of course the drums sound similar to Head Me One. The drums sound similar to Head Let me hear the roll. I mean a loss it to me, Dabonani Ivalako. When you watch it go pesa when I'm going to last time I do 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 So for the beat, um, I mean the drum set, the drum set is similar to Head Me One. And so uh, I've listened to the this song. Um one thing you should know about my videos that I do is that I'm not a reactor. I don't react to music. I actually listen to music before I make the videos because I want to review and give you my piece of what I think or my opinion about these videos. I watch them like 10, 10 times before I come to make this video. So for me, it's not reactions, it's reviews. 
there's a difference so i hope you you get that so after listening to this whole song um i i i realized one thing he's now addressing the issues that happened back in 2021 remember the elections the pf thing okay those of you who, who might not be in zambia ob east actually was paid to campaign for the then ruling party which lost power to the opposition party and so a lot of fans didn't take that lightly they called him all sorts of names uh, shima tweka you know sell out because as a hip-hop artist he's supposed to stand with the people you know he did a song with your maps which was called pamela's share where he talked about real issues and then just after that he went on to sell out sell out and do a song for the then ruling party and i believe they paid him a lot of money for that and so he sold it out and so a lot of people yeah you know bashed him on social media bashed him everywhere on interviews why would you do something like that and so in this song he's addressing those issues and also he had the falling out with one of his friends who is in headmail one j-o-b and so i believe part of the lines here he's trying to address them to j-o-b uh, this time around they are not as close as they were before because if you listen to hitman one he was uh given a shout out jlb and i have seen days that are darker than akon jlb been my homie since day one we've seen days that are darker than akon and within the nine years they had a falling out with with jlb his, his close friend and uh in, in some of the the, the 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 first verse here some of the lines i feel he's He's addressing J.O.B. Then in verse 2, he responds as Daywalker. He doesn't really care. He says, I don't need the love. Because love makes you weak. It's the head that I need. And then, it's the head that I need. And then, yeah, he's, he, he goes into Daywalker mode. So, when it comes to the beat, man, I feel the head male one is by far better. The strings, of course, the drums uh, are, are, are better in this one because they they're popping out. In the other one, the drums were were not really popping out of the speaker, but in this one, the drums are clear, they are clean. Sorry, it's a bit technical, but it doesn't really matter anyway. But the strings, the melody of the strings or the melody of this instrument, I think Headmail One had a better melody, had a better composition, and um, yeah, this one is of course hip-hop like hardcore hip-hop so it's a soulful record a female vocal sample in it yeah but personally i prefer the head mail one instrumental when it comes to lyrics head mail two lyrically head mail two head mail two he really talked about a lot and his rhyme scheme here the punchlines like i'm always in the hood Munga kaloko muinda you know uh, i'm always in the booth like I'm looking for float, you know, all those punchlines that I can remember from the top of my head. This one I feel lyrically, the delivery, this one wins. Delivery, hit me or two. Rhyme scheme, hit me or two. Punchlines, hit me or two. The lyrical content, hit me or two. Instrumental, hit me or one. Stash, you never beat that hip hop beat. Bitch with me. When Stash produces a beat better than the head meal beat, I'll be the happiest person. I'll clap. That beat is awesome. And looking at it that you produced that beat when you were in grade 10, man. Ish. Big up, big up, big up, big up, Stash. So thank you so much. What's your take? Tell me in the comment section. Bye bye. Day one, I inherited the beef like Bali's son. Yo, they say love makes you weak. So keep your love, it's the head I need.